So, so I, I, I don't generally post on here anymore because every time I do, I get some coward little smart aleck to leave me some chicken shit comments. But, but tonight's a little different though, dude. Tonight's a little different, dude. Because tonight, I, I, I need to unload about what happened to me at my job. Some of you may or, or may not be aware of the fact that I have been employed for the past four and a half months at Steak Chops, the world famous steak cuisine restaurant. Well, in so facto, behind the scenes, it is a filthy, disgusting, rat infested dump. And if you go there, you are very highly liable to get extremely ill from their sick food. So, so this evening, uh, as generally as I do every evening, it was extremely busy in the restaurant and I am busting tables, doing dishes, when Mr. Scumball, the manager, calls me into his office. I, I, I was all set to get off work. I'm, I'm, I, Abby is a beautiful young lady that I'm currently courting. She is a waitress at the restaurant. And so, 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 so Mr. Comover, he, he calls me into his office and, and he, he, he's got that, that dickwad that the owner's there with him and they're, they're both in the office and they're both giving me really dirty looks. He comes out from nowhere and he says, hello, Mr. Meat Thief. He starts calling me the Meat Thief. And they both start accusing me saying that I've been stealing meat from the kitchen and throwing it into the dumpster at night. Yeah, I, I, I'm not kidding, dude. Yeah, that, that's what they said. They said that they, they have me on camera and then I'm, I'm throwing meat. I'm taking meat from the kitchen, prime rib, steaks, you name it, and I'm hiding it in the dumpster. So, so after they give me this grilling inside the office, accusing me of being a thief, saying that they have me on video, he then tells me to go downstairs to go collect my last check. They don't want to see me anymore, to get out of their sight. I said, that's fine. I wish you both to do. You are both morons because I never took anything from your restaurant. And I went downstairs to go collect my check. Well, well, that, that dickwad and that scumbucket manager, they had a big circus orchestrated for me. They brought every employee out in the main lobby so they could humiliate me. Th that, that scumbag Ryan, he is the main server. They, they have him with my final paycheck. And he makes a big announcement to everybody. They say that they've caught the meat thief and it's me. And... They even had some of those, those, those high schoolers work, they, they started chanting, they had, a, they had it all, all pre-planned, pre-rehearsed, they started chanting, meat thief, meat thief, and that dick-faced Ryan, he, 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 he starts patting me down for everyone, starts saying, saying he wants to check to make sure I'm not stealing any more meat before I leave, and it was really humiliating, he, he's lucky I didn't punch him in his face, because I was liable to. So, so now, needless to say, I, I don't have a job anymore, and I, I, have, I have no way to pay my rent, and I'm, I, 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 I'm going to sue that company. I'm going to sue Steak Chops. I, 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 I've been checking with the uh, Labor Food and Labor Wages Union and various lawyers. They're telling me what they did is illegal, and I have every right to sue them, and I'm going to. N needless to say, Abby is... No longer returning my telephone calls or numerous text messages. So I guess that is over as well. So, so you can laugh about it all you want. That's fine. But you know what, dickface? I, I, I'm going to win because I always win. I always win.